Hello everyone, in this session you can learn how to quickly design a general report through an introductory example of a general report. Before the class, you first need to understand the design process of the report. The design process of reports mainly consists of four steps. The fifth step is to create data connection. Before making the template, you should know the type of database, the database address, and the account and password for accessing the database. Then, create a data connection in the Fine Report Designer to bridge the database and the designer. The second step is to create template and dataset. After adding the data connection, you need to add a template. Data connection is used for the entire project and does not extract data from the database. So you need to add dataset in the specific template and extract data from the dataset through the data connection. After data preparation, the third step is template design. Template design mainly consists of four steps, including report design, parameter design, chart design, and data entry design. These are four most used applications of templates of fine report. Report design is purely data display, parameter design is dynamic query data, chart design is using charts to display data, entry design is creating data and writing data into the database. Users can determine which one or several kinds to use according to the actual situation. The fourth step is template preview. After finishing the template design, you can save the template to the project directory, and then you can view the effect on the web. Then, I will show you how to create a general report with an introductory example. The documentation for the introductory example of a general report is available in the PPT. You can refer to this documentation for further study after class. In this class, you need to create such a general report, as shown in the figure on the right. From this figure, the data you want to obtain is the sales of every salesperson grouped by the regions, and sales of different products, as well as the total sales volume. There are nine steps if you want to produce such a report. Then I will operate in the designer. First, open the Fine Report Designer and create a data connection. So the Fine Report Designer can connect to the database and the report can read, write, and edit data in the database. Open the designer, click on Server button on the top menu bar, select Define Data Connection, and you can see the Define Data Connection dialog box pop up. After installation, the designer will automatically connect to a built-in database named FRDemoEN. You can see a database named FRDemo on the left side of the dialog box. Then click on Test Connection on the right side, a pop-up box appears saying Successfully Connected, which indicates that the FRDemoEN database has connected with the designer, and click OK. Then you need to create a new general report. Select File and click on New General Report. So you get a new blank report. Then you need to prepare the dataset as the direct data source for report design. According to the different roles, dataset is divided into server dataset and template dataset. This time we use template dataset. Click on the small triangle next to the plus sign on the Dataset Management panel, a dialog box will pop up, and choose Database, DB, Query. Choose a table called Sales underscore Volume in the FR Demo Database, and enter SQL Query in the dialog box to retrieve all the data in this table. After doing that, you can click the Preview button above to see if the needed data has been retrieved. Nothing wrong, so we click OK. You can see that there is a created dataset under the list of template dataset in the dataset management panel. After creating a data connection, you can design your report. Let's see the expected effect of the template again. First, you need to design the title. 
The title should be Region Sales Situation. Select cells 1 to 4 and choose the Merge Cells button at the top. Double-click the merged cell and enter Region Sales Situation in it. Select A3 and B3, merge the two cells and select the Insert Slash button above. Type in Product, Salesperson, Region in the dialog box. Choose Diverge from the top left to the bottom right. Click OK. Now you can see that the subtitle is already displayed in A3, and then you can enter the next stage. Next, you need to drag the data columns that need to be displayed in the dataset into the corresponding cells. That is, drag the four columns of region, salesperson, product, and total sales from the dataset into cells A4, B4, C3, and C4 respectively. Left click to select the corresponding data columns, drag them into A4, B4, C3, and C4, and set the expansion direction as vertical expansion. Let's see the effect in the PPT again. So it is expected that region and salesperson columns are of vertical expansion and the product column is of horizontal expansion. Return to Designer, select C3, choose Cell Attributes, and set Expansion Direction as Horizontal. Then you can calculate the total sales of all products. Choose D3, double-click it and type in Total Sales. Merge A5 and B5, select C5, right-click on it and choose Cell Element, Insert Formula. The corresponding cell we need to sum is Sales Column. Insert the formula sum to sum the data in C4, click on Validity Check. Then click OK with no error. Let's see the desired effect again. Actually, the bottom row is the total sales of every type of product, while in terms of the horizontal line, you can obtain total sales volume of every salesperson. Back to Designer and select D4, right-click on it and choose Cell Element, Insert Formula. Insert the summary formula of C4, check its validity, confirm it, and click OK. Then you need to calculate a total sum of all sales volumes. The bottom right corner of this position is to calculate the total sales of all products for all salesperson. Select D5, right click on it and choose Cell Element and insert the formula. At this time, you can either calculate the sum of C5 or D4. Insert the formula, check its validity, and click OK. So the total sales has been calculated. Then you can start setting the parent-child cells. Since each cell has its parent-child relationship, the cell will expand or calculate following the parent cell. The parent-child cell has been introduced in the previous section, setting parent-child cell. In this example, you need to calculate based on the salesperson column in D4. So we select D4, choose Cells Attributes, and set the left parent cell of D4 as B4 where Salesperson column is located, and the left parent cell is custom selected as B4. So next, set the cell style. When creating a new report, the report will default to selecting the design area to apply to the theme of the newly added template. For the style of the template, cell style or chart style, default designs have already been provided. When creating reports, you can choose to follow the theme to quickly reuse the styles in the theme. Then we choose the icon like clothes, click it, and you can see that the default theme of the template is classic light gray. 
Then let's switch to Refresh Technology, click on it, and click Close. See the style you need to display. The main title region sales situation is in black font, the position data of the table is in black font, and the rest is in blue font. Then go back to the designer and select A1, then choose Cell Attributes, select Style, set theme as Style Settings, and choose Big Title. Select A3, and you can adjust the row height or column width of A3 according to situation. Choose Style of A3, follow the theme, select Small Title, then adjust the row height and column width again. The remaining cell styles, such as C3, A4, B5, F5, are all header styles. Click the header and choose the header style listed in the following theme. Finally, you can design the appearance of the report based on the overall situation of the table. Click on Border and choose Custom and set Border Color as Blue and set Inside and External Border Lines. All template text is centered. Finally change the total subheading to blue font, save and preview the template. That's all, your first general report is completed.